put it every week. And I've been consistent over the last couple of years. Um, the summer, and, and I, I came to that conclusion because I don't want to waste posts where people are not engaging. So in the summer, I'm kind of more, you know, just kind of keep it low key because not a lot of people are just not engaging. And so in, up to early June, June, I, I post content uh, and then I start again in like August and then during the school year more, you know, topic of the week or this and that, or if I, if I have to bring something up, that is a topic of the week. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep, uh, be consistent. I have been consistent for the most part. I think towards the end of the school year, I wasn't as much, but I think it does make a difference because I think it does help um, keep parents engaged, potential parents engaged, current parents. It's just confirmation that, okay, I'm in the program I want to be at. Yes. Uh, when I want to talk about a topic that, that resonates with them. So, yeah. so yeah, so th that's something that, that I've been doing and I'm particularly, what I've been doing a lot also, I've just been reposting, you know, like greater that post a year, year and a half, I just reposted because some that are, they've seen it, they may forget about it or they just need that refresher um, information or some that are new to my you know, social media, um, you know, they haven't seen it because they don't, most of them, don't, they don't scroll back and see everything. So something I posted a year, year and a half ago, and it's still relevant, so I so I, so I, I posted. So yeah, I think posting content is important. And I think it gives people an understanding where uh, my philosophy as a founder of this organization is. My wife has told me people told me you oh, shouldn't be posting that. It's like no, you know what? I, I am because if you someone doesn't like it, they're not my ideal clients. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I mean, they're be. saving me time. Yeah. Because you'll just be unhappy working with people that don't want to be there. I would encourage you to keep doing that. Like, because you can't help everybody. Like, you can. And, you know, and interesting enough, I'd rather, I rather work with someone that I enjoy working with, charge them less yeah. than charge someone more that, you know, they're, they're, they, should, they think short term or they're just not pleasant to work with. Like, I really, I really, I'd rather charge less. There's, I mean, Due to everything that's been happening, there's been a couple of parents that have been giving like really good deals. It was almost like a two for one. Right. But his parents, I mean, they're pleasant. They're they're they're, they're nice to work with. It's like mm -hmm. I love working with them. So right. it's like I want to keep them. You know. So right. sometimes I just use my better judgment. And I, I I mean I don't make decisions just on money only. I mean obviously that's important. I need I have a business to run, but I I rather work with people that I want to work with. They want to work with me. That I can see that they 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 value working with me, and I enjoy working with them. They listen. Their kids listen. They're supportive. That's to me, that's, that's more important than just getting high price clients that, you know, they want to go all over the place. I've told them, even a friend of mine says like, I would not work with certain people that all they do is hop around from program to program. I don't mind having kids go to programs. In fact, any, any a child or, you know, adolescent in my program, if they're at a higher level, I'll, I'm all for them going and training with other people. Cause that's, I'm, I, I want to build them up. But someone who doesn't give me a chance, I don't want to work with them. You mm -hmm. got to give me a chance. Um, and, and see what they need to work on. So what I call is people that are club hoppers. They just hop from place to place to place to place to place. Right. There's no loyalty. You know, I don't want to work with those people. Man. Right. It's funny. You're just talking about the club hoppers. Uh, I was talking with a, a parent. This was like on a sales call um, a couple of weeks ago. And, and she was like, well, she was like, can we just like come train um, like once a month in your program. And I talk to all parents on zoom. So like, I don't do anything over the phone. It's, it's, I always see people when I talk to them and, and I just looked at her and I go, well, how, how do you think we're going to help your child if that happens? And she was, and she was like, well, like it'd be good for them to get the extra training. So she was trying to sell back to me about why they should be able to come once a month and i just looked her dead in the eye and i was like no commitment no results if you guys cannot commit to our program the way i want you to you're not going to get the results and if you're not getting the results then it's probably a big waste of money right miss jones and then it made her realize that like she can't come once a month not with me and i was like if you guys want to go train once a month um, with somebody else, here's a list of people that will probably let you do that, but that's not me. Like, cause I, I actually want to help your child get results. And I, if I see them for one hour, once a month, that's just physically impossible.